as you're coming into your freestyle, right? Even when you're going fast or warming up, your head is just too far forward. You're looking forward here, as you can see, right? And then you, when you're coming up to breathe, your eyes are almost out of the water, heads up before you actually turn your head. So you really need to focus on keeping your head down as you're swimming. Now as you're coming in, you can see your head's down, or looking forward again, and you're actually holding your breath. You can see the air in your cheeks, right? Holding your breath, holding your breath, and right as you're maybe about to, uh, another stroke, I think right here is when you start to exhale because you're about to breathe. So you're holding your breath, and you, so here if we go back, and we're going back more and more and more and more and more. Obviously your arm is blocking, but here you can see you're holding your breath. Your cheeks are puffy, that means you are really holding it. All right, when you're breathing out, you breathe out through the mouth, not the nose, all right? And it's a steady stream of air, okay? Nice steady stream, not right at the last second. I'm not gonna play any video here, but as you can see, I had mentioned this before, you really need to focus on keeping your head down as you're, uh, head down as you're uh, swimming forward. Obviously, when you're going into a turn, your head needs to come up because uh, you don't need to be running through the wall. Head down when you're normally swimming, Right? The other benefit to having your head down is twofold. One, you're not looking at your competition, so you're sucking yourself out. Uh, the other thing is, which is more important, keeping your head down is bringing your hips up. Now, the straight line is drawn along the lane line of the water. And now, while I realize that the camera is slightly below the water, you can see how much your hips are dropping, right? That's a significant, a significant, uh, disadvantage that you have to overcome, right? There's a lot of drag there, so we need to bring those hips up, otherwise you're just gonna keep fighting through the water, right? You wanna use the water as your friend, not your enemy. Angle, um, kind of a offset center following you. Obviously it's a little shaky because I'm walking along, but you can see, and I'll bring this circle up, uh, how far forward you're looking up, right? Here's another angle of you holding your breath, Right? Holding your breath. Yeah. It actually looks like you're doing a little bit of out of your mouth, but more primarily out of your nose as you're breathing out. Right? And then right before you're about to breathe, you're almost, you're turning, but you're almost looking out in front of you before you breathe. Okay? Now I hear I wanted to talk to you about your left hand entry. See? You can see your left shoulder and elbow entering before that your hand enters, right? Now when you come out of the water more, right, pressing the hit the, the pressing the, the head down, pressing the shoulders down, so you're actually gonna rise out of the water a little bit. Um, and we talked about that we practice it, that your hand is actually gonna enter the way it's supposed to. So just that's you gotta keep that in mind because you're stopping yourself before you're grabbing water. I do like the small bend in the wrist. That's nice, right? And then we can keep going forward here. Looking at your right hand entry, right? Your hand is definitely coming in beforehand, right? We just need to keep that hand uh, on the left side down. Now, we talked about the opening of the hands, right? Kind of focus on keeping your hands closer together. I realize you don't want to keep tension in the hands, but I don't want to see gaps through your fingers, if that makes sense. If you, um, let me rewind this back just a little bit. And so you can, if you kind of look, you can almost see your goggles out of the water. You know, you shouldn't be seeing the goggles from an overhead view. I shouldn't be seeing your goggles swimming, right? Your head should be down. Right, now as you come up to breathe, you can see how, how high you're raising your head out. Remember, you're just turning, you're not lifting your head, just turning your head, right? The rotation of the body is lifting it out of the water. You don't want necessarily to have your neck doing that. There, there's another example of the left hand entry, right? You can see, and I can circle this, right? You can see there's the elbow right there, entering the water before the left hand is, right? As we go, see all that splash? That's resistance, you're slowing yourself down. Right hand's fine, and you were obviously right-handed, so there's not too much an issue there. You know, I like that, it's fine. A little, you know, 
crossing the center line slightly, but I think... I mean, you're probably crossing it slightly. I, I'm not too concerned as of right now. I'd worry more about body position. Then we start nitpicking where your arms are in terms of crossing the body or not. But keep that in mind uh, as we keep going. Now, obviously, your kick... You know, you can see how wide your kick is. Your kick leg should be together as you're kicking, okay? Um, I can draw another one here, right there, 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 there. That's your foot, there's your foot, right? Huge, huge gap right in this area. Not good, right? Keep those legs together. Um, and, you know, that's gonna come with body position of water and, and rotation, right? Kind of works in the same, these small changes, but these are big, big things that you need to work on, right? The reason your legs are keeping apart because you're over rotating, right? With the over rotation, you need to kick yourself back into position. That's why your legs are separating to kick yourself back in, right? So bring the legs together um, when you're kicking with this, right? So as I back it up, right? That's how your legs should look. That's great. Your legs kicking like that, I love it. But as you rotate, that's when they start to separate, right? You can see that. The right hand's good. It's that it's the left side, right? Okay. There they start to come across, to come apart. Just showing you exactly what's going. On. Just reiterating as we're going slow mo. Heads up. Got to keep that head down. You can see how far below your hips are. Uh, I just want to bring them up more. Just a quick side view. Now on your flip turn, uh, everything looks good. I think this is one where we worked on you being further away. Got to keep working on that. I like it. All right, you're pushing off. Uh, you know, not on your back, but not turned all the way over. On your side, that's fine. Um, you know, obviously you want to be on your back, but you, you know, as you can see, you are turning. It's kind of blurry, but you get the idea. You are turning. You're turning when you need to. So keep it up. Keep further distance away from your in real time and then I'm gonna slow it down so watch the pumping of the chest good when you're sprinting I like that that's what sprinters do um, I you know, all sprinters uh, that, that know what they're doing will just pump their chest that's an extra kind of dolphin kick that you kind of get uh, in the back end of your stroke um, you're also driving in your hands into it so again pumping the chest is good uh, it may sound or look like it's a lot of movement, right? Pump, 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 pump. That's fine. It's it's completely okay. Um, this is the same shot, uh, real time. Sorry for the shakiness. You've done the flip turn. You're coming out, right? Look at. I want just for this frame here. I want you to focus on how much you're holding your breath underwater. Breathing out, holding breath. It's almost like when you're breathing on the one side that you hold your breath. So you gotta really focus on breathing out. Uh, let's see. So you push off here, right? Breathing out, right side, holding your breath, the left, right? You can see you're holding your breath just a little bit. Try and focus on not holding your breath too much. The only time that it's almost acceptable to hold your breath is uh, doing a flip turn. Although I know if you hold your breath, you end up uh, getting water up your nose because you have to let a little bit out. But just you know, I don't want you holding your breath. You don't you don't bench press or you go for a run while holding your breath, right? Constantly breathing. So why do we need to do it underwater? Uh, just again, keep that in mind as you're swimming. Breathe, breathe out. Okay, out of the out of the mouth, not the nose. This is your flip turn in real time, right? Um, here it comes, ready? Real time flip turn, All right? Now let's go back, slowing it down. Watch where your feet actually touch the wall. Good entry into it, push the hand, last rotation using both hands to keep balance, right? into the streamlined position, you're about to push off, right? And that's where your feet should push. And look where they touch. There's a little staggered foot stance, right? You've got one foot right here and another foot kind of up there. 
right? If this is your body position, right? You're coming in straight. You wanna, you wanna be, you know, straight as much as you can, okay? Uh, so, coming into it again, as you can see, stroke, glide, rotation, keep balancing with both arms, legs are over, great turn, right? That's technically really where you should be pushing off, right there, and you're over, over rotating, and that might be because you are too close, right? And then you push off. You're wasting time, right? You're touching the wall, and then slide, push, okay? There's a tenth of a second right there, easily. A top view just to kind of see how low your body was, right? And I just realized something. The reason why you are lifting your head out of the water is because your entire body is sitting so low in the water, so you have to lift it to turn it to breathe, right? When your body position comes up, it's gonna be much easier just to rotate to the left to breathe or really rotate to the right to breathe, okay? So, here, right? Stroke, you lift, right? And then monster breathe. So we gotta work on that body position. Gotta keep horizontal as much as possible in the water, right? Few things, right? Gotta keep that head down. I've got to keep that head down. All right. Head needs to be looking down. Now, as we go, right? Here, your head should start looking up. Uh, right? Head should be up. Now, I just want to point out, this was one of, this is the, when we're starting working on your dive, right? You can see how much your entry is, right? When you're jumping out this way, you might land more like that, not necessarily down. So, take away the lines. As you can see, right, this is where your feet are, and this is where your body is. That's why we need to focus on a better dive going out, okay? And I believe the next one coming up is another dive, okay? So here is where I told you, right? Again, head up. This one was better, right? There you go, your head's coming up, much better, love it, okay? Much better, although slightly hard entry into the water, it's not as steep as it was before, okay? All right, again, your feet are here and your body's like that. All right. And here is another one. All right, remember, head really down. You should be looking at, not that, you should be looking at your feet or back here, okay? All right? Blind. And as we're going, I realize this is a longer video. So here, I believe I was telling you to start leaning forward, right? Really need to focus on where that where that is. Now, if you feel your leg slipping, right? Feel this leg slipping right here. You can always bring a towel with you. Dry off the off the block if you need to. I've seen some people put a towel on the block. Okay, not saying you should do that, but uh, you know. Bring, you could bring a towel to the block to blow, to dry it off. All right, it's a small attention to details that's going to help. All right. Now we need to get the head out. Much better. I mean, you're still looking a little bit down, but you're not looking down like that, right? So I want to see you reaching and looking towards those flags. Much better, right? So before, again, we were coming down like this. And that angle is true. Now we're at about 30 degrees. Better. Much better. Look at that. Much better. Much better. Oh, I love it. Okay. Into the brushstroke pool. Alright. 